Hey everyone, I am Josh. Sitting next to me is Jack. And across the table, we have Mr. Tom Harnden. To say that he's done things would probably be a gross understatement. So with that being said, we asked him to come in today to talk about good things past, present, and future for Barberton. I think his perspective, you're probably going to want to hear. Stay tuned. You're listening to Magic City Neighbors on the Mic, where we talk to your Barberton neighbors about their stories, their insights, and what gets them laughing. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. And now, to the show. Tom Horndon has been a pilot, legal counsel, and executive director, and many things in between. Other than the pilot part, a lot of those activities have been right in Barberton, which gives him a great 30,000-foot view of the city. And yeah, that was a very bad pilot joke. <laughs> we, we needed to start out with... The, we, we needed to dive into the... Right, we got to come up with the, right, we come come up with the kicker and the, and the... So thank you for coming in and talking with us today. Um, it seems like you have stayed busy. I don't believe you have ever been bored... Um, is that an accurate statement? I try not to. Yeah, no, that that <laughs> makes sense. So, I, I mean, you you sent me the statement that you'd retired from Babcock and Wilcox in 2001. Correct. Um, the list of things that you have been involved with since then um, would not fit on a sheet of paper. If we printed it, we'd probably cover a good chunk of the table here. Um, what made you say, I need to be involved? What what brought that on for you to be like, oh, yeah, that, then, yeah, I'll do that, too, and I'll do that, okay. too? Well, we need to go back a few years. Uh, you know, I've been a member of uh, Magic City Qantas since 1979. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So and I did that when I was working at BMW as just a line attorney. But, you know, it's part, I guess it's part of the DNA, okay? And uh, as I went up through progression at BMW and eventually head up the law department, all of a sudden things got pushed towards you, you know, hey, you're the head of the law department, and you live in Barberton, why don't you go on United Way board for us? Why don't you be on the hospital board? Okay. So it started back then, and, um, and it just grew. After I retired from there, you know, going to the foundation, again, it's an opportunity to do things in the community and for the community. And um, the hardest thing, once you volunteer for something, and they know that you're willing to do it, you're going to get asked to do a whole multitude of items. You know, you can't get away from it. The hardest part is saying yes the first time or getting involved the first time. After that, it's quite easy. You it know, snowballs. They, it does. It really does. And I'm now at the point in my life where, okay, let's pull back on some of this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am. The li- you don't feel the need to make the list longer. No, no, no. <laughs> get where you are. And, uh, and you know, there are a lot Stay of stories there. about how I got to some of the other positions and, yeah. and the... Um, you know, chairman of different things or sure. person. Of, you know, there, there's a lot of side stories. I can blame a lot of people, such as Denny Little, for one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's the Parks Commission. But, you, you, you don't show up to a meeting and suddenly when the, you show up to the next meeting, oh, by the way, exactly. you've been elected. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Surprise. <laughs> yeah, that happened back in when we um, had the campaign to sell part of the parkland so that the hospital could expand put on the emergency uh, department in the yeah. cancer center. Yeah, I walked into a meeting and um, and the, uh, the gentleman that was the nominal chair said, I'm the nominal chair. You're the working chair. And I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> New title. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, surprise, surprise. <laughs> what, what, did I, what did I miss? Yeah, what, exactly. What, how, did this, how did this happen? Yeah. Actually, that's the first time I met Denny Little because he happened to be treasurer of that campaign. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So what, I mean... <clears throat> what keeps you involved with some of these? And what's, what's the driver to, to take some of these on other than, I mean, I realize that oh. y- you getting volunteered for a lot of these is the easy part, but it's, you could say no. Yeah, right. No, but you want to do good. I mean, number one, I'm retired, okay? And if I didn't do this, what would I do? Sit at home and sure. watch TV? You know? Yeah. I mean, I'm like you. I go to the Y in the morning, I work out. But other than that, you know, it's... You yeah, know, it doesn't. You know, I can't cut the grass in the winter. <laughs> you can, <laughs> you but can people, so yeah, people so start well, to think that you know, there's questions. You know, right? you know. He's cutting the grass. Again. It's, it's snowed this morning. Yeah. I, there's a, there's going no, on here. But no, there's the uh, desire to 
make the place better? You know? Sure, sure. And that's why people do it. Why do they? You know, I, I like to think that's why people do it. Yeah, right. You, you hope know, that's, that's you know, the reason behind. You run for mind, school but... board because you want the kids to do more, do good. Yeah, you know, be successful. Mm -hmm. You want the uh, school district to do better. You want the community to do better. So you go out there and volunteer. You know, the hardest thing we've got going right now is that, uh, in my, my my opinion, is people your age. Sure. You know, they're they're busy with work for yep. their kids or in softball or baseball and all the traveling leagues. We don't have a lot of younger people in their 30s, 40s, or even early 50s that are volunteering. You know, look at the uh, community as far as uh, the various organizations, whether it's uh, Morning Qantas, Noon Qantas, Rotary. You know, it's bunch of gray-haired people anymore. You have sure. very, very few young people, and that's sad. We need to get them out there. I mean, you know, God bless people like Jessica Starcher. You know, she's a principal at the middle school, but she's also heading up the uh, the Little League, and she's on the Parks Commission now, people like that. People like Denny Little, that uh, although Denny's getting a little long in the no, he's, <laughs> he qualifies ARP now. <laughs> is he, I, lo I love this opportunity to pick on him, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, and with him being a past guest, too, that, oh, yeah. that's oh, even yeah. better oh, yeah. because oh. you know he's not going to be on for a long time again to mm. take any punches back at you. So that's yeah, wonderful. You, you got the second yeah. hand here. You got yeah, the, yeah. Ta ta that is a wonderful opportunity. But, yeah, but, you know, he, but he started getting involved you know, over 20 years ago and stuff. Sure. But you don't have a lot of young people doing that right now. Do you and think there's a, a reason for that? I think it's just the way society is today. Okay. I mean, I look at my own family as far as my sisters and you know, their kids. You know, they had kids on the traveling league. They had uh, three girls playing softball all at the base at the same time, one in college and two playing on travel leagues. My sister went one way this weekend and her husband went the other way. When did they have time to do things besides sure. the just family? Just that, yeah. You know, and a lot of people now are working two jobs. You know, I'm, I'm sorry, not people, but uh, families. Sure. Husband and wife both have jobs. Um, it's the dynamics change. You know, dynamics have changed mm -hmm. interesting. dramatically. Sure. No, that makes. Yeah, but that but makes we really, sense. Uh, I'm, I would love to get more younger people involved. We need them. Definitely. Interesting. Yeah. I believe Jack is going to ask some things about. Yeah. So I'll I'll leave it to him now. Then. <laughs> what's something that has you excited about Barbara Inn right now? And then on the flip side, also after that, what's something that has you nervous? Well, nervous is the economy, but uh, that's easy. But yeah. excited, I like where we're going. Um, you know, yeah, we've lost BMW, but you know, when I retired from BMW, probably had 12 to 1,500 people working on Van Buren. Uh, <sighs> when they left Barbara Inn, I think they had maybe 600 people. Lord knows how many people they have working in Akron right now, so it's... While people say, oh, we lost BMW, I can't get too excited about it. They were losing a lot of people in okay. the past, you know, past 20 years. Yeah. But we're bringing in a lot of new companies. We got Euro Fins, uh, APC Supply moved into what was the old uh, uh, Cardinal Maintenance, and yeah. after that became the BMW, uh, some kind of facility for BMW. Um, ARDL is in town. We got a lot of small businesses coming in. You know, we just had the election. And if you heard uh, Mayor Judge talk, in the last two years, we've had either a business expand or a new business come into town every five weeks over the last two years. Wow. Damn. Yeah. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, it's and, and you look at Barberton, and I've said this numerous times before, but how many cities of our size have their own water and sewer system? Yeah. And we got rail lines all through the city. You know, we if we had more land, we could bring a lot of businesses in, but... The businesses that we have right now, like BWXT, they're expanding. But yeah. we have the rail lines, we have the water, we have the sewer, we have all this infrastructure that other communities do not have. That's definitely something I've taken for granted. Too. Oh yeah, like, I just think people talking do. about it right now. I've never even thought about oh, yeah. the fact well, that Barbara has yeah. their own compared try, to living anywhere. Else. Exactly. Try living with a sewer system, or not a sewer, but a septic system that goes bad on you, or try paying the water rates that they have in Norton because yeah. they're paying Barbara. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, no, it's uh, no, we're lucky. Yeah, I okay. just had to replace my septic system at yeah. my house, and it was uh, it was a uh, I, the the check was large. I'm sure I'll just was. leave no. it at that. No. It was not a comfortable check. So we got a lot of things going. Yeah, we yeah. got some issues. Obviously, sure. you know, we need to uh, improve some of the infrastructure because, like a lot of the cities in Northeast Ohio, we're old. Yeah. But I love uh, I love what the administration has done by 
taking the money from the uh, street fund that we passed to the levy or not you know, increasing the income tax, bundling that with government grants. Yeah, I understand people are upset because their street is not being paved. But look at the money that we're getting from the federal grants to improve Worcester Road West, yeah. s- um, South Van Buren, putting in the sewer system and sidewalks and all that, to hopefully alleviate the flooding in South Barberton. Yep. We just did uh, Norton Avenue, Snyder Avenue. We're getting some of the major roads done. The side streets, I'm hopeful that they will come. It yeah. just takes a little Eventually. more time. But yeah. we need to get, you know. Get the main ones get done. Get the main runs Get those done. arteries I mean, that's, done. Yeah. You know, that's those also the ones good. that have the mass majority of traffic. Sure. And those are the ones that will attract businesses, they too. Will. Yeah. To, I mean, uh, the, the we got a new business moved are. in where the old um, Midwest Rubber was yeah. up on Norton Avenue. And they're paying the city annually some funds to upkeep that road because they're coming in with heavy trucks. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's a lot of benefits coming in. Sure. Yeah, and, sure. And what we've seen with uh, the Rockville property, you know, the foundation bought that, and they're working with some businesses, uh, one of which is already in town, and hopefully they'll be building a uh, substantial warehouse there. And wow. those are all jobs. Yeah. Yes. It's good. Yes. Opportunity. In town. Opportunity. In town. And, 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 I mean, this is the, the right place, the right people. I mean, mm-hmm. wouldn't it be awesome to be able to walk to work? Yeah. Yeah, for, that would know, be huge. Yeah. For I uh, hit the second, what, 24, hell, from 1976 through uh, 2012, yeah. I never had to drive more than two and a half miles to work. Right. Wow. Between That's BMW, not bad. the foundation, and the schools. Yeah, not at all. Yeah. So I mean, that's looked great. Yeah. yeah. That, uh, you don't have to get a car, a new car, very often. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Keeps that car you. payment. Last last got it. Yeah. But uh, what areas, as you spoke before, like about volunteering, want to get younger people in there? Where do you think that they should look? Is there anywhere specific that you think needs help with younger kids, or just the, anywhere? I, anywhere. Um, what's your interest? I have a friend that uh, he takes his grandson. They go out every Friday to the um, food bank and help. Hmm. Uh, Load sure. up bag there. I have other individuals that uh, deliver meals for uh, shut-ins, or they deliver blood. They do, um, blood, you know, they pick up the blood for the Red Cross. Mm-hmm. There are, what's your interest? Yeah. And uh, easiest place to get going is, like I mentioned earlier, we got three service clubs in town: the two Qantas and the Rotary Club. They yeah. join them, mm-hmm. and they all do activities that benefit the community. And yeah. also, as a younger kid good uh, resume builder as well to yeah, have that on exactly there. exactly looks but good. You, yeah but you know there are um so many places i mean right now the schools are looking for volunteers for their uh, uh mentoring program mm-hmm. uh, can volunteer there it takes one hour a week wow uh, yeah. that's it that's it that's it and they'll they'll train you and that's a huge difference for someone it is a huge difference yeah. for people i know my wife and i did it for <laughs> a few years and it's very um beneficial for the kids yeah and it's uh and you get a lot out of it as i say it's got to be yeah. rewarding yeah. As it just that. feels good yeah doing yes, something like that yeah yeah give Definitely. someone that neat that that head start but that i foot up but where do they go you know that's up to them what's their interest just yeah. figure out what just, you want to do and yeah. call the organization most of them will work with you you know if you're working during the day and they may have some things going on in the evening or you know you just or on the weekend mm-hmm. sure it just just take a phone call yeah, that's it. Or a text. Or th- because we're talking <laughs> the yeah, younger generation. Yeah, right, right, yeah. Yeah. Or Snapchat. Oh, okay. Snapchat or you and I are probably the last of people that will call people. <clears throat> yeah, I, uh, my wife, I, I tell her that every now and then. She's oh, I have to text my daughter about this. I said, why don't you call her? And then you can avoid going the texting back and forth. No. You get it all done you'll in never two get an three answer. minutes compared to the two-hour no. conversation Plus, you'll How have. often have you received a text that... Okay, was that meant to be funny? Or are they really? <laughs> I, I got one of those from my mom last night, and I didn't. I had to go uh, dress her because I was like, "Were you being rude to me, or was that just like a joke?" And she exactly. was smiling when I was explaining it. So I'm like, "All right, I think she was just joking." Okay, yeah. <laughs> you know, phone call can avoid all that. Yeah, yes, it can. no, hundred percent, hundred percent. So are we on to time the, for lightning? Yeah, it's time lightning for the lightning round. round. Ready? So the, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we've been at this a few minutes already, even so. And these will be, I mean, once again, we say one or two sentences, but we you may know, have you expand I haven't had a chance to tell any stories. I mean, I like the- <laughs> oh, no, we, we'll, we'll, keep, we'll give you some of that okay. here. Okay. Um, in fact, with my first question that I wrote down, what is your favorite Barberton project that you've been involved with? Oh, the YMCA. And how? 
Well, at the time I was uh, executive director of the foundation. Sure. But you talk about a, f a project that um, you use the term facilitate and cooperate. I mean, we had the hospital at the time involved. They gave, I, I can't remember the amount of money. It was either 250000 uh, Babcock and Wilcox at the time gave a bunch of money. Uh, obviously, the foundation gave money, and the foundation also had given the city money before that uh, when we were looking at building a community center up on, on Mort, yep, Morgan, okay. where the old one was. And uh, that didn't turn out very well, but the city had the money, so they put it into the YMCA project. They were able to buy uh, some of the pro uh, property on the corner of 2nd and Lake and 3rd uh, and Lake. There's yeah. a big white house there and uh, a uh, old... Uh, office building on the other corner. So we combined all those assets. And then, of course, the community came together and we raised a million dollars from the community. Wow. But it took the community, hospital, Babcock and Wilcox Foundation, city, all to put it together. Everybody. Everybody. Yeah. It, you know, so that was a neat that's project. That's nice. Yeah, that's cool to get everybody together. To that get was a very good project. Out. Yeah, you got yeah. It. everyone came together on that. That's yeah. awesome. And you said you still work out there to oh, this yeah. day. Oh, yeah. I've been a... Uh, member since it opened up in November of uh, 2007. Wow, that's awesome. That's Can't awesome. you tell? Yes, <laughs> I can. I can. I can. And uh, if you have someone you know and respect and they want to come to Barberton for the first time, where would you take them? Ooh. Could be anywhere. Anywhere in the Anywhere city. in Barberton. What is the first place you think you would be Play like? Lake or Anna. Playing a little date, too. Lake, where, a where, Lake would you go, where would you go eat? Where are you taking them to eat? Oh, my Lord. Or grab a snack. Just or, one place? I mean, I mean you know, I, hey. no, no, just give us your day. If you bring someone you let, like. Let, let's oh, give well, us the then tour. I, then I could have breakfast. Uh, we'll have breakfast at two places. We'll do it at the, uh, at the uh, Remarkable, then head on over to uh, Enchanted Cafe for a uh, second okay. breakfast. Okay. Uh, we'll That's do good. lunch at Owl's. Nice. Okay. Good and, call. And uh, dinner at the Green Diamond. But uh, after that, we'll have to have stop or M&M and uh, for, uh, <laughs> finish off the night <laughs> for, the, for the night cap. Yeah. Yep. But it, so you said Lake Anna. Yeah. I, I mean, crowning jewel kind of exactly. the, that type of thing. Yeah. That makes sense. That yeah. makes yeah. sense. Yeah. 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 Be a good day. Yeah. Show them where the uh, submarine came up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and German where all the submarine. bowling balls are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they're, yeah, they're weighing down down there. Right. They're weighing the right. German U-boat down there. So this one's going to be, this one's a sharp stick. And we, we're going to call this a lightning round, but I fully expect this not to be a lightning <laughs> round answer. Um, we've heard it before, and we've heard other people say it. Um, and they may not have said it directly, but you hear it in the tone of their voice. What do you say to someone that says Barberton isn't worth the effort? After I beat the crap out of them? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. As you're in when the they're ambulance. On the ground, then what do you say As to they're them? in the ambulance. Okay. Uh, no, it's well worth the effort. You know, it, we talked about this before we came on the air that, you know, we are our own worst enemy. Sure. We've got so much going. Uh, yes, we don't have the industry that we had back in the 60s, or early 70s. Right. But like I said before, we've got water and sewer. We've got rail. We've got uh, outstanding school buildings. Um, businesses are coming back and smaller businesses, which are in the overall scheme of things is better because... If they go out of business, you're not losing a thousand people; you're losing a, a few, right? yeah. maybe a hundred. But you know, but there's a lot going on, um, and it's well worth it. We've got a downtown, and I love the fact that we now have Main Street Barberton. Um, yes, I am involved with one of the committees there. Yes, but uh, <laughs> I, I thought that was just going to be implied. You know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything we've talked about is the kind of the one, yeah. <laughs> right? But no, I love that what they're doing. We, you know, magical theater company. Heck, we have a movie theater. How many movie theaters are closed around yeah, this country? Sure. You know, we were there last week, so uh, Wonka. My wife wanted to see yeah. Wonka. How so, was so. it? It's good. Good, okay. different. It was different, but you yeah. know, it's good. Okay. You know, I'm not a. You know, I prefer the uh, Indiana Jones type stuff myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's the way to Mrs. go. Mrs. wants to go. Yeah, you got you, it. You, you, you kind of got it. Okay. But it's uh, no. There's a lot going on, yeah. and uh, you know, I'll make a reference to Leon Ricks. Uh, yeah. Our former. Uh, uh, safety director under uh, Mayor uh, Hart, but he used to refer to uh, the people that are against stuff as cave people, citizens citizens against virtually everything. And I will quote <laughs> Leon on that till the day I die because I love it. And and they are <laughs> there are people that are just they j they take it upon themselves to be against something for no good reason. Sure, or they may think it's a good reason, but 
instead of being against it. If you have a better idea, why don't you come out and talk about it and maybe volunteer and, you know, right. do something about it instead of just complaining. Right. Yeah, let's move forward instead of just screaming yeah. screaming about we don't I like I cleaned it. up my language. I was going to use the B word instead of the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What word? What word? <laughs> you know, hey, at my age, I you know my filters have disappeared. Right, right. No, I <laughs> I I understand that. I've I do my best. There's many times where I'm like, up, oh, wait, stop. Yep. Think my filter it. clogs very quickly now. Um, no, that, that's no, no. Like it has to. I mean, it's your business. <laughs> right, right, right. The filter does get clogged fairly quickly. Um, our every person question. Your favorite Barberton folklore slash tall tale slash rumor. I mean, you mentioned the submarine. Yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, yeah, I um, for a number of years I did the uh, announcing at the Mum Fest. Yeah, and uh, you know people come up and ask about it, and the lake it's really it's only thirty five feet deep in the center, and it's a uh, what eleven acre acre lake. Yeah, and I think the entire park is like twelve or thirteen acres. I can't remember, but you know it's yeah, but the submarine came up and all that kind of good stuff. It's bottomless lake, all that kind of good yeah. stuff, but. But you know, the, <laughs> we were talking about this before, and I thought I'd create one. Okay, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, like the OC Barber ghost that haunts the uh, the heating house. You know, he, yeah. he's in there all the time. My God, it's scary. Have you ever been there? I've, I've, uh, no, I've had the floor shake when I was in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, we even have the story from. I mean, th there is quite a bit of haunting stories in yes, Barberton because mm -hmm. um, Brian Canale gave us one. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. His podcast. Kaminsky's oh, yeah. He talked the, about. Yeah. Uh, Kaminsky talked about one, too, portage. in Portage School. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, I heard the Brian Canale one, and uh, I know the individual who was. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. First hand experience. Oh, yeah. Butch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. I won't say Butch's last name. <laughs> His wife was a former councilman, <laughs> council person. <laughs> I love it. And then uh, what do you see as a future for Barberton, and where do you think we're headed? I think we're heading in the right direction. I mean, okay. again, yeah. um, we're attracting smaller businesses, which is always good. And then businesses mean employment. Employment means income tax paid, so the city's coffers are going to be looking better. Mm -hmm. um, I think we're back to where we were pre-COVID, if my memory serves me right. Nice. I attend city council every now and then. I think that's correct. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Once but, every 20, 30 times, maybe. Yeah. In, got inst it. Instead of going to the Wonka movie. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> I can't, dear. There's a, there, there's no, a council no, meeting today. Okay. <laughs> that's uh, Monday. I'll be there. Um, but no, we're heading the right direction. I, I like the fact that we do try to leverage the money that we do uh, receive to get the federal grants. I agree. That's so, amazing that we do that because well, it's to. it's free money. You have to. It's like when an employer gives you a a match on your 401k. Yeah. That is free money. Take well, it. Well, it's, at the end of the day, it's our money. We paid taxes in right. the federal government, so let's go back and get some of that get our, back in our, get get our, get our fair back. share. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I love it. You know, We need to do it. We need to do as much as we can. And yeah. uh, I'm very happy with what I've seen going on in that regard with regard to getting grants to improve the city. Um, you know, the biggest thing we've got, our land, biggest concern is that we are landlocked. Sure. Um, you know, we got some property that are brownfield, so there's some property on uh, South Van Buren, and the Russell, Russell landfill that uh, we keep trying to get uh, sure. cleaned up and, uh, and somebody move in there and do something with it. Um, and the Truson property, the uh, farm out on uh, 619, Unfortunately, yeah. that's in the Coventry School District. We couldn't get it into the Barberton School District. Mm. Yeah. Is what it is, though. I know. They, they, I thought I gave some good arguments. <laughs> 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 I was a warm body that went down the state of Ohio and argued that one. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. But, uh, but yeah. you've been okay <clears throat> arguing things? Oh, yeah. It's, it seems to be in your background maybe a little bit? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that, no, I'm, I'm happy with where we're going. Um, Obviously, we all would like to see it move faster. Sure, but that's uh, not the way the world works. No, I, I mean, it takes time to good build things up. for sure. Good things no. take time. They, As I've always said, the thing that I like—I mean, kind of playing off that too—is it's consistent effort over time, and we've had that over the past couple of years. And yeah. I, I think we're, we're. What sucks about that is, is it's tough to see the results from that. Mm -hmm. But if you look at a photo from a couple of years ago, there's some pretty big differences. There are. You know, I, um, in one of my previous jobs, I did a lot of international travel. One of? Yeah. <laughs> no, I was, uh, 
I was negotiating with the Chinese back in 1980. Wow. You know, and, uh, and they have a whole different philosophy. I mean, they've been around for thousands of years. Yeah. And uh, if it doesn't get done today, it'll get done tomorrow. Not from the point of view that they're looking at the entire history. They're not looking at what's going to happen tomorrow. Gotcha. But, but you know, yep. this is what we're working for, and it's going to take a few years, and this is how we're going to get to it. it but it's not going to happen tomorrow. And we just... We need to adopt more of that philosophy. It's not going to happen tomorrow, but if we're moving in the right direction, it will happen. And I think we're moving in the right direction. That's awesome. That's awesome. And to me, that is an excellent place to leave it. That's <laughs> We're going in the right direction. Um, as always, thank you all for tuning in this week. Do me a favor. Make sure you share this with all of your Magic City neighbors. Like, subscribe. Um, leave comments. We'd love to hear from you. Suggest guests, all that other stuff. We will see you guys very soon.